Hi, um, welcome to this video. We're gonna be studying um, or reviewing actually the basic probability that um, we learned in chapter four. So it's just basic probability. We'll be using um, the formulas on the formula card. And these are the kind of problems that you know are to be expected on quizzes and tests. All right, so I have here a two-way table. Um, and for um, notes here, a veterinary practice has three offices, one rural, one urban in an urban community, and one in a suburban community. The number of pets at each of their clinics for a week is presented below. This is the number of pets seen, okay? And so we based saw cats, dogs, reptiles, fish, birds, horses. All right, in each, this means that in the rural clinic, there are 123 cats that were seen. Okay, so let's check out first couple of questions. Um, if a pet is chosen at random, are urban and horse mutually exclusive? So let's go and find urban, urban, and horse, right? So I'm just going to circle that. Um, that cell in the table, and we see that there are no, if we know, you know, um, that if it's an, ur there are no horses seen in the urban office. And so what that means is that urban and horse are mutually exclusive because if you know for sure that your pet is an urban pet, then you know for sure it's not a horse. So if a pet, so the answer is yes, mutually exclusive because zero pets are urban and horse. Okay, and the second question says, if a pet is chosen at random, are rural and dog mutually exclusive? So let's go see. So here's rural. And coming over, here's dog. So we see that there are 275 dogs that were seen in the rural um, clinic. So that means they are not mutually exclusive. And that's because um, that's non-zero, right? Because there are, are um, dogs in rural clinics. Dogs in the rural clinic. And just a real quick reminder here, this is an example of not mutually exclusive and this here, is an example of mutually exclusive. So that brings us back a little bit to the Venn diagrams. Okay. Okay, so moving on to um, question C. If a pet is chosen at random, find the probability that the pet is from the rural clinic. Okay, so this is, um, pet is chosen at random, what is the probability the pet is from a rural clinic? So this is gonna be the probability of rural is equal to, so the denominator we're choosing from all the pets that we're seeing. So a pet is chosen at random from all the pets seen. Um, okay, so the denominator is all the pets that were seen, 1,236. And the numerator is, um, the number of pets seen in the rural clinic, 74. And on the question sheet, it's asked for us to represent the answers to two decimal places at 0 0.38. Okay, so for part D, if a pet is chosen at random, find the probability the pet is a dog. So again, we're, we're choosing from the, all the pets, the pet is chosen at random from all the pets that were seen to, that's actually how it's stated on the, on the question sheet. So the probability of a dog 
is going to be, so it's seen from all the pets, so the denominator is one, two, three, six, and we have to look at the total number of dogs. We have 660. And then that is 50, 0.53. 53% of the pets that are seen are dogs. Okay. So this question said, if a pet is chosen at random from all the pets that were seen, find the probability of rural and dog. So rural and dog. Okay. 275, right? So probability of rural and dog, okay? And that's gonna be the denominator. We're choosing a, a dog, a pet from all the animals that had been seen. So it's one, two, three, six for the denominator and 275 for the numerator. And that gives us 0 0.22, okay? So the last problem says, well, not the last problem, but part F says, if a pet is chosen at random from all the pets that were seen, find the probability of rural or dog. So let's go ahead. I'm actually going to steal that line so I can write it out a little bit. So the probability of rural or dog. Okay. So or probability, we need to uh, decide whether we're going to use the general edition rule or we're going to use the special edition rule. So in this situation, um, we use the general edition rule if the events are not mutually exclusive. And we'll use the special edition rule if the events are mutually exclusive. In this case, the events are not mutually exclusive. I'm gonna stand up here and just put those two uh, formulas on the board so we can know what, um, just have reference back to the formula card. So this is gonna be, we'll look at the general addition rule. Okay, and that says the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. And this is for all events A and B. Okay, and then the special edition rule says, so it's a, only, this is only for the A and B that are mutually exclusive. So if A and B are mutually exclusive events, the probability of A and B is equal, um, I'm sorry, rather, the probability of A or B is the probability of A plus the probability of B. Okay. So because rural and dog are not mutually exclusive, we cannot use special edition rule, which is just a little easier numerically, but we're gonna use the general edition rule. Okay, but write that um, general edition rule out, and then we can substitute in and get to the probability. So we're looking for the probability of dog I'm sorry, rural or dog. To state it as it's on the paper, it's okay to state it the other way, but I'm just going to be consistent with the question sheet. Rural, rural or dog. Okay. So that's going to be, oops, general addition rule. Excuse me. You have to subtract the probability of A and B. So sorry about that. That's actually the differentiated between the general addition rule is that you're subtracting that overlap. So the probability of A or B, which is that whole area is the probability of A plus the probability of B. And this piece here is the probability of A and B. 
We added it in twice, we have to subtract it out once. Okay, so that each of the three parts of the Venn diagram only are contributing once to our probability calculation. So the probability of rural or dog is gonna be the probability of rural plus the probability of dog minus the probability of rural and dog, okay? Okay, so the probability of rural for set, we had this in an earlier part of the problem, but I'll just put it back out there like that. 474 with one, two, three, six, probability of dog, six, six, zero over one, two, three, six. And we're gonna subtract that overlapping piece, the probability of rural and dog, 275 over one, two, three, six. Okay, so the denominators are the same. We can add up and subtract. We get 859 over one, two, three, six. And that's equal to 0. 0.69. So 0.69% of the animals were either from the rural clinic or they were dogs from the other clinics. Okay. Okay, so let's next let's look at the next part, part G. If a pet is chosen at random from all of the pets seen, find the probability that the pet is a dog, given that the pet is from the rural clinic. Okay, so what we're looking for, the given event we write on the right-hand side of the vertical bar, looking for the probability of dog given rural. This is a conditional probability. The key word that it's conditional is the word given, or it could actually be stated as find the probability that the pet is a dog is a dog conditional on that on that the pet is from the rural clinic. So either the word given or conditional is um, is the key to knowing that we're going to be doing a conditional probability. This is the formula from the formula card. Um, but I know that most of my students prefer to use the shrink the sample space method, okay? So what we do for shrinking the sample space is we're given rural. So basically, we want to ignore all of the data except the, rural, the line of data that's rural. So probability of dog given rural, so we know it's rural. So our denominator is 474 because that's how many pets were seen in the rural clinic. Dog given rural is gonna be 275 over 474. And I get 0 0.58, which is 58%. Okay. And now we're gonna look at the probability of dog given urban so now we're interested in only the 341 pets that were seen in the urban clinic. So 341, and there is, that's my denominator, and um, the numerator is the number of dogs that were seen in the urban clinic, 145, and expressing that to two decimal places. 0.43 or 43%. Okay, so the final question says, does urban or rural have a higher concentration of dogs? So what we saw was the percentage of pets from the rural clinic that are dogs is 58%. And the percentage of pets from the urban um, clinic that our dogs is 43%. So in fact, the rural clinic has a higher concentration of dogs. Okay, so that's the sort of questions that um, will come up on quizzes and tests. Let me know if you have any questions.